Hello everyone and welcome back to another match on WWE 2K22. This bad boy is all about the SWE Tag Team No More Contendership. We've got on the left hand side Harlem Heat, Booker T and Stevie Ray. We've got the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, Arn and Ollie Anderson. Even though Arn's wearing a horseman shirt. We've got the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky Morton and Robert Garvin. I think that's right. And the Steiner brothers, Rick and Scott Steiner. Yes, I still can't believe every time I look at Scott Steiner, that is Scott Steiner. Right, so this is elimination. The uh, the winners of this match will go on to face off against Evolution for the SWE Tag Team Championship over the weekend. And remember this, because this is elimination, both members of the team have to... What has happened to Arn Anderson's head? Is that supposed to look like that? That looks really weird. I feel like something's gone wrong with Arn's head there, you know. Uh, but yeah, what was I on about? Yeah, because it's elimination, both members of the team have to be eliminated. Um, if only one member survives, they can still go on and win the match for their team. So you could be eliminated first and still win the match. It's crazy, isn't it? But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And, of course, not only is the number one contendership for grabs, for a lot of ranking points as well. The winner of this match will get one for winning the match and a plus three for defeating multiple opponents in one go. So plus four for the winning team. Which is massive, really. It takes you from mid-card obscurity to tag team main event. First pin attempt, that is not going to be enough. That was... Um I always get mixed up which one is which with the uh, Rock and Roll Express. Ricky Morton, I think. I want to say Ricky Morton is the blonde. And then Garvin is the one with the brown hair. So Garvin's currently inside the ring with, I believe, Booker T. It's also very difficult with Booker T and Steve Ray because they wear the exact same attire. Until you can see their face, it's difficult to tell. Yeah, that's Booker T inside the ring. Steve around the outside. And on the far side of the ring, you've got Arn Anderson and Scott Steiner going at it. Uh, which means on the bottom left-hand side of the ring here, we have got Ollie Anderson and Rick Steiner. And these are of false count anywhere as well. I made all these elimination matches false count anywhere just to help them flow a bit better. Because the amount of times a fight just goes on on the outside, they hit finishes, they hit big maneuvers. And then they can't get him back in the ring quick enough to get the pin off, which is why I've made them all um, false count anywhere, just to try and, like I said, help the matches flow a bit better. Big elbow into the back of the neck, and now uh, Garvin wrenching back at the arm. I'm sure it is. It is Robert Garvin. It doesn't sound like Robert Garvin. Robert Garvin. Uh... In. It's not right, is it? Uh, Ricky Morton's right. Ricky Morton. No, not... <laughs> not Ricky Martin, for God's sakes. Ricky Morton. Um, one half of the Rock and Roll Express with Robert Gibson. It's Ronnie Gar... I'm thinking of bloody Gar... Yeah, Robert Gibson. Yeah, Ricky Morton's the blonde, Robert Gibson is the brown hair. I I, I got Garvin because of... Um, isn't Garvin won the Freebirds? Oh, I'm getting lost now. There's too many names knocking around my head. Too many freaking names. Really? Is that right? No. Is that right? Um... According to According to Wikipedia, Ricky Morton is the current ECW television champion. And he won the ECW television championship by pinning Matt Cardona at GCW. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me at all, but there you go. Um Dream Championship Wrestling. No. It's got I mean GC it's got to mean game changer, surely. No, I don't I didn't know. I think someone's just messed around with his Wikipedia page and just confused me. 
Uh, right, I've not been paying attention. It looks like we probably have had one elimination, have we? As Arn now trying to eliminate Ricky Morton. Not quite enough. It looks like... One of, has one of Harlem Heat been eliminated or is he just on the other side of the ring? Pin now by um, Robert Morton. Oh, Robert Morton. Robert Gibbs. I told you, it, it, for some reason, it's Rock and Roll Express just break my brain. Most other tag teams I'm fine with, but Rock and Roll Express just does me. Uh, Ollie Anderson now with a pin on the other member of Harlem Heat, which I feel like is that. I think that's still Booker T. I might be wrong. Uh, looks like one of Harlem Heat is definitely gone. No, Booker T's got of him, and that's Stevie Ray based on the finishing maneuver. I can't. I need him to look up so I can see his face. Yeah, we definitely have had elimination. One of the members of Harlem Heat is definitely gone. There's the pin now, attempted by Scott Steiner on Robert Gibson. Steiner's screwdriver on the outside. Brutal. Ollie Anderson with a pin. Not elimination, but surely Scott Steiner is going to have Robert Gibson gone. Oh, referee! Grow half a bloody brain cell, you nerd. He is gone. Okay. Robert Gibson is gone. We've got one member of Harlem Heat, one member of the Rock and Roll Express, both members of the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, and both members of the Steiners. I think that is Stevie Ray in the ring, so Booker T must be gone. There's the pin now on Ollie Anderson. And he is gone as well. We're down to two Steiners. One Anderson and one Morton. And the battle now commences on the outside. Everyone, oh, big kick in the face. Look at is that? I can't get a clean look. I think that's definitely Stevie Ray. I can't see his face. He's always got his back to me. But based on the moveset, I think that's definitely Stevie Ray. As Rick Steiner now shoulder breaker. But Stevie Ray now with a pin. And that is... Who's gone there? That's Arn Anderson. Oh, both members of Minnesota Wrecking Crew are gone then. Both eliminated. Rick Steiner now with a pin. It's only a two count. So we're down to a two-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Two members of the Steiners, one Rock and Roll Expresser, and one Harlem Heater. I'm going funny here, aren't I? It is Stevie Ray, yeah. I knew it was Stevie Ray. I knew it was Stevie Ray. That's taken on there by Scott as Rick now with the oh big full Nelson suplex. That was painful, that is. I like the way that Scott Steiner's sort of um you know, he his his attire is matching nicely with the actual uh with the arena. It's nice. I like it. Scott now wrenching back at the face of Ricky Morton. And my phone rings. It always happens. Always, and I guarantee you, I've just, I've just rejected the call. I guarantee, in about ten seconds, it rings again. It always does. There's the pin. There goes Stevie Ray. It's two on one now. The Steiner brothers versus Ricky Morton. Rick Steiner gonna roll him through. Oh, Scott with that big boot in the face. It was pretty brutal. That was, to be honest, pretty damn brutal. And there, talking of brutality, the Steiner screwdriver. And that has got to be game, set, match. And I'm happy with this, actually. I like the Steiner brothers. I do like them a lot. Uh, Rick Steiner, former SWE Tag Team Champion. But, of course, that was alongside his son, Bron Brecker. But with that plus four, it's going to move him from a minus two up to a plus two. In the tag team division. Uh, do we actually have the Minnesota Wrecking Crew? 
Minnesota Wrecking Crew. Dude, uh, we don't, I think. Anderson. Anderson. No, they're not on there. Okay, I'll add them. Um, and then who else was in this match? Harlem Heat are definitely on here because they were former tag team champions for a while as well. Um, Harlem Heat. Um, you got a loss. You dropped down to a plus five. And then the Rock and Roll Express, who I believe are also former SWE tag team champions. Where are they? Rock and Roll, no, Rock and Brave. Rocky Romero, Rocco Rock, Rocky Johnson, The Rock, Rock and Roll Express. There we go. You lose as well, moving down to zero. There we go. Minnesota Wrecking Crew then down to a minus one. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like, subscribe, they have a good stuff. And like I said, we now know our entire weekend's worth of championship matches. We will have Lex Luger versus Edge for the North American Championship. Rob Van Dam versus Dean Malenko for the Intercontinental Championship. The Steiner Brothers up against Evolution for the Tag Team Championship. And then for the SWE Championship, a triple threat as Malachi Black makes his first defense against Ric Flair. And a cheeky little Vampiro thrown in there because Vampiro pinned Malachi Black last week, of course, in a tag team match. I'm going to love you and leave you. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. See you next time. Bye-bye.